Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video like this one again. Today we're going to be talking about how to sweeten up a person or a situation in your life. So I'm going to get into three ways that you can do that. But before we do, make sure you subscribe, you turn on your notification bell, and hear a quick word from our sponsor. These are the newest items on my shop. Some of these are already up and ready for you to purchase. Some of these are going to be available very, very soon. These are manifestation candles. They are for the intentions of love, protection, money, and so much more, you guys. Head over and browse around. And they are only available limited edition because once they're sold, they're really like pieces that I only make once or twice. So once they're gone, they're gone, you guys. Head over and I'll talk to you soon. The first way I'm gonna teach you how to use sugar to sweeten somebody up or sweeten a situation up is you're gonna take a bowl of sugar. So I have this glass. Glass is really good to use because glass retains energy. It holds energy of whatever herbs you put in it, whatever work you're doing in it. And that's why a lot of candles, especially nine day candles, they're made of glass, if you notice. So. We're going to use glass or whatever fire safe, not fire safe, but like something safe. Uh, you're going to put your sugar in there and then you're going to get a piece of paper. This is like a brown piece of paper bag. It's a natural piece of paper bag. You can actually cut it out from your grocery bag. That's what I like to use because it's more natural than paper. But if you have just plain paper, you can use that. That's perfectly fine. You're going to need something to write with. I have a Sharpie right here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to write the person's name, okay? And if you have their birth date, you write their birth date as well. Now, if it's not the person's name, if it's not a person that you're trying to sweeten up to you, then you're going to write down your entire situation, of what you want to sweeten up and you're gonna write it as if it has already sweetened up. Say you are trying to buy a house and you want to sweeten up the loan agent. You're gonna write whatever you want, you know, they're gonna favor me, they're gonna pick my application and then you're gonna write their name and date of birth. Then you're gonna sign your name on top of it. So if you're doing it for a situation, you're going to write the situation as if it's already happened, what you want to sweeten up about the situation as if it's already happened, then you're going to sign your name on top of it. Uh, but underneath your name, you're going to write all the names of the people that need to be sweetened up to towards you in this situation. But if not, if this is just to sweeten up a person, then you're going to write the pers person's name and their date of birth. Okay, I hope that made sense. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to roll it towards yourself. Always roll it toward yourself. Then you're going to stick it into your bowl of sugar. And you're going to cover it up as much as you can. You know, if you want to be discreet, you can cover it up all the way completely. But if not, you're going to leave that in there until your desire manifests. So I would keep this on my altar. Just make sure the bugs don't come around it. So keep checking on it every once in a while and things like that. But yeah, this is a really good way to sweeten up a person or a situation in your life. The next way I'm going to teach you guys how to use sugar to sweeten something up or someone up is to use a candle. So you're going to use any candle that you have. This is something that I actually found at the thrift store. It was brand new sealed. Um, I actually had my partner drill some holes in it. You want to drill three holes in it because you're going to feed the candle. So any candle you buy from any store, it could be in a jar, it could be a, a votive candle like this and you could put it in a jar, it could be a tea light just like this one and you could put like, you don't even need to put it in a jar, but you want to make three holes in it. Okay, and this is to sweeten up the energy of everybody that lives in your home, in that property, in that dwelling. So what you're going to do is you, you can just do just this, just three holes and feed it with sugar and light it inside of your home. And just make sure that everybody is coming in and out of your home that lives there that can get a whiff of it. Or you're going to engrave the address of your property and then you're going to engrave the names and the birth dates of everybody that lives there. 
in here. And then you're going to make three holes and you're going to take a little bit of sugar and you're just going to feed your candle. Now, you want to make sure that it goes into the holes and stuff. Um, I'm just doing this kind of real quickly. But you can also add oils in it. Um, you can add basil. But that's kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, do you need to make the holes? No. But it's easier to feed the candle with the holes in it. So you're going to burn this. And you're going to let it burn and diffuse in your house. Um, make sure that everybody comes in and out, like I said. And then when the candle is all the way diffused and dispersed, you're just going to throw the candle away. You can save the jar if it's a cute jar like this one. Uh, but if not, if it's like a tea light like this, you can just throw it away. Uh, and that's it. The last way I want to teach you guys how to use sugar to sweeten something up is very easy. What you're going to need is sugar, water, and that petition that we talked about in the first way I taught you. So you're going to cut out a piece of paper. This could be any type of piece of paper that you have, but I like using natural paper uh, from like a brown paper grocery bag that you get from the grocery store. You just cut out a plain piece and then you write either this is for the person's name that you're trying to sweeten up and their date of birth or the situation you're trying to uh, sweeten up along with the names. If it's a situation that you're trying to sweeten up in your favor, you're going to sign your name on top of everything, of your intention, of the person's name, everything, okay? Now, you're going to take your water, you're going to boil this. Okay, you want to boil it. You're going to boil it with some sugar in it. So imagine this is a stove right here. You're going to put the sugar in it. I would put like maybe three, four pinches of sugar. You don't want too much because you don't want to attract bugs when you do this spell specifically. Because it's, it's to sprinkle around certain environments and areas. So here's your boiled water, right? You boil it with sugar, cool it down. But while you're boiling it, you're going to roll this towards you, right? Your intention, roll it towards you. You're going to drop it into the water while it's boiling with the sugar in it. When it's all cooled down, you're going to leave the paper in there. But the water you're going to take and you're going to put in your property. If this is to sweeten up a person inside your home or a landlord, uh, then you're going to do this on your property if this is to sweeten up a situation like a co-worker an employee a boss then you're going to sprinkle this water around your workplace if it is to sweeten up a person uh, where you you found your dream house and you want to get that house and you found a lender and you found a real estate agent and all the people that are needed to get the house you're going to write all their names in it and then you're going to sprinkle this water on the property of where you want to buy the property, but you have to be very careful when you do things like that. Um, if this is for getting a bank loan, you know, if you know the person that is your agent in the bank, you're gonna sprinkle this around the bank, but again, you have to be very careful doing these kinds of things. So, be very careful when you do magic like this because certain things require you to sprinkle certain things somewhere, uh, but you have to be very careful. Uh, and if it's around your own property, that's fine. You know, you can do whatever you want on your own property. If you're trying to sweeten up your house and the people that live in your house, your, your um, relationship, then you can do it in your own property, no problem. And uh, make sure you don't add too much sugar because you don't want bugs around your spell work. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out my Patreon because I have over 300 videos there that you cannot get here on YouTube. I also have another platform where I show you guys how to arouse in different kinds of ways. That's linked down below too. I also have a book that I wrote. It's on Amazon that you guys can get 30 rituals on how to manifest. I've seen a lot of testimonials, a lot of the reviews on the Amazon. Um, a lot of you guys tried those spells and it worked. Of course it would work. I only share what works. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.